Okay, so for this team right here, I just wanted to use three of my highest tier 2 pets. They're so good, they could be considered tier 1 if it wasn't for the fact that all the tier 1 pets are so much more ridiculously better than them. But they're all still really good pets. So I've got the Scalded Basculus Hatchling. The HS type is as fast as breed available to him. He has a Crystal Prison at 305 speed. He's faster than all non-speedy pets, so he's able to get an extra turn off the Crystal Prison. He also has Thrash for a little bit of extra damage, which is good because he's fast too. And if you're going against someone who's faster than you, you can just feign death for a free switch out. That always goes first and lets you block an attack. And then I've got Widget the Departed, an undead pet who has Call Darkness and Spectral Strike. So he hits really damn hard. He also has Pounce. It's like an Alpha Strike, but for beast type moves. And then the Silver Shock Elver, the SS type, with dodge and dive. He's kind of like a rabbit who's able to just dodge moves for days, except he's not as fast. He's outsped by uh, some of the tier 1 pets that are fast, like adders or rabbits or fiendish imps. And his other move isn't really that great. Grasp sucks. It does like terrible damage and just prevents him from switching for two turns. Deep Bite, you have to stay in for forever. You have to attack four times before it reaches max damage. So you have to have this guy survive for a long time before he starts hitting really hard. And he starts hitting not hard at all <laughs> at first, so he has a really high ramp up. But if you're faster than your opponent, he should be able to live long enough to ramp it up. And once you do have it ramped up, he starts hitting really damn hard, but it just takes too long. Alright, this is going to be fun. I obviously can't start off with Dang It Bobby. I might have to go into Ronin Toad for the for Massacre. Let's go straight into Dodge. And then stack up some Deep Bites. <clears throat> Oh, looks like he's going straight into wind up. And supercharge. Okay. I thought he would have used power balls first, that way he'd guarantee to go first. That's what most iron starlets do. <clears throat> uh, another wind up works too, I guess. Just a straight old wind up on its own is pretty good. Since I know he's just using wind ups off cooldown, I could probably just predict dodges, I guess. Crap, now he's going into a speed boost. Hmm, I have no idea what this guy's doing. <laughs> it's random. <laughs> he's not following a pattern. <laughs> Usually, Iron Starlets start off with their power balls. They don't. They don't do one after do using a second wind up. So I took a little bit more damage than I thought he would because he just <clears throat> out predicted me. Oh, this isn't the Frostwolf Ghost Pup, it's just the Ghost Pup. Yeah, this one isn't anywhere near as good as the Frostwolf one. I mean the Ghost Pup. And oh cool. Looks like Deep Bite's doing max damage. Neat! Okay, let's go into dive. That way we can get dodge off cooldown quicker. Thanks to someone who pointed that out in a comment like a week back or something when I used them last time. You're like, why aren't you using dive off cooldown? It gives you more time to let dodge come off cooldown. I was like, uh, because I didn't think of that. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Alright, let's go into thrash. And I should just be able to kill him with thrash, to be honest. Yeah, if I hit three times. Dang it, Bobby. Alright, now we're gonna go for Crystal Prison. I'm faster. If he had the correct breed, I don't think... Yeah, Crusher doesn't have a, an SS breed. What I meant to say is, if he was going with a, an Ore Eater... Okay, let's switch out. Switch out on the Body Slam. And let's go into Cold Darkness. Luckily... QB has a really good. Hmm. I was gonna say he has a really good matchup against this guy, but. I guess not. Spectral Strike. I thought Call Darkness would hit a little bit harder than that. Didn't, though. I should still be able to kill him, though. Just one more pounce. One, two. There we go. Pounce. 
the Alpha Strike of these type moves. There aren't too many Alpha Strike like abilities out there. I think it's only Alpha Strike and Pounce. I can't really think of another one that works the same way as Alpha Strike. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Fragment of Anger. Hmm. 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 He uses a lot of magical type abilities. And a critter would be pretty good against him. I guess I could just start off with a Ronin Toad. Um, yeah, I guess that'll work. These guys usually start off with a Soul Rush. So if I go straight into dodge, it should be fun. Isn't that right, Ronin Toad? No, nope, looks like he went for a Spitfire Beam instead. All right, let's try to stack up Deep Bite. And let's see if we can predict a Soul Rush here. Yup. Got your stupid soul rush on cooldown. Stupid fragment of anger. You can't do shit against Ronin Toad. He's too strong for you. Alright, now let's go into another dodge. And is Deep Bite doing max damage yet? I'm about to find out. Let's go, Deep Bite. Nope. Still not doing max damage, huh? Crap, he's got a soul rush available. No, and it's stunned. <laughs> oh, Ronin Toad, you have to survive this. You have to survive the apocalypse. I'm gonna get hit. Damn it, I just want to survive one more turn for dodge. But I'm gonna get hit with Spitfire Bolt. It took too long to kill the Fragment of Anger, now my other two pets are really almost dead. Uh, dang it, Bobby has a bad matchup against Servant, so I'm gonna have to go with Widget Departed. Ooh, which sucks. It sucks. Oh, well, let's just pass. Crap. He still has his Undead Racial available. Crap, the Dapples. This is gonna be bad. I need to do as much damage as possible while living for at least... Uh oh, old Servant. Well, I can do probably just about as much damage as he can. Except he's a, a magical type. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> but that's Stuart Racial and he has like no health. Damn, two arcane explosions was enough to kill him. Damn it, QB, suck. I should have just went for like pounces, to be honest, now that I think about it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, Bobby. You're gonna have to clean up <laughs> the Chromidius. <laughs> On your own. Uh, I'm just gonna have to predict the surge of power. I'm just gonna predict he's gonna use it right off the bat because he'd be stupid not to. I think I can still use Feign Death to dodge it. Come on! Oh fuck, he used Ain't Howl. Damn it! Damn it, I wanted to, to use Surge of Power. Did he predict my. Oh, he doesn't have Surge of Power. Fuck. Oh, triple hit! Come on! Oh, I just wanted one of them to crit. We would have been good to go. Okay, that was a really close match. Surprisingly, considering how long it took me to kill the servant, I mean the, the one guy. Okay, note to self, if you're going to be going against an AoE, -er, use your hardest hitting pet first. I don't know why I thought my lowest hitting pet, the one who takes a lot of time to ramp up, would do good against him. He doesn't even have undead moves. Uh oh, a whole team of tier 1 pets. Can we do it with this team? No. No, Fiendishim could probably take out the entire team by himself. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, let's see if I can predict his actions. Usually, Fiendishim start off with immolation. So let's go for damage. And then they switch. So if I go for a Fang Death right here, I don't negate the damage from his switch and allow me to go into QB. In which case, I can now go into Call of Darkness, which reduces healing in the back row. But then again, I also take extra damage from the Frost of Ghost Pup. And I don't have a Decoy Breaker. Gosh dang it, Pandaren Dragon Lean. All right, now let's go into Pounce, get a little bit extra damage before that Decoy comes up. Of which I can't stop, <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to waste two turns attacking. He also had to waste a turn putting up decoy, so it's really one turn as long as I go for attacks and don't do anything else. Another fiendish imp, huh? 
He's gonna go for a switch right here. No, he can't go for a switch. He's just gonna get hit hard in the face with Spectral Strike. He's gonna switch me out before I can refresh Call Darkness, that way he can actually heal up in the back row. No, he switched again. What is he doing? Did he just go into- he didn't even refresh Immolation, what the fuck is he doing? Is he trying to predict a switch? Why would I switch out against him? I know he's just gonna switch me. Oh, he went for another heal. <laughs> he went for a heal under darkness. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't think he he knew I was going to refresh call darkness like that or something. I, I don't know. His actions don't really make sense. Alright, Frost Wolf Ghost Pup. Let's go into a spectral strength just in case he does another switcheroo on me. Yep, he did another switcheroo. Which means he's going to get hit hard in the face. Stupid fiendish imp. Okay, so... Let's predict another immolation refresh before nether gate. Or maybe he'll predict my... He'll think I'm trying to predict his nether gate and then he'll use it right off the bat. Oh, he did. Um, He's probably just going to go into immolation right here. So, I'm just going to go into deep bite and just keep using it because I don't really get an extra dodge out of the fiendish imp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Pandiran Dragon Lane. Uh-oh, Pandiran Dragon Lane. He's gonna go straight into decoy. I know he is. And let's dodge so he can't heal up for two turns in the back row. Okay, and I'll just stack up Deep Bite all the way to full on his decoy, I guess. Ha 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 ha. Alright, now let's dodge his decoy for a turn and break it since I am faster than him which means I can actually use my my dodges against him is he gonna switch out now if he switches he's as good as dead oh I mean if he went into his frost wolf ghost pup if he goes into the fiendish imp he actually has a pretty good chance of killing me because it refreshes my deep bite stacks Looks like he's going for breaths. I can use one more deep bite. It should be almost doing max damage now. So which means I can just dodge on my next turn. No, I can just use two deep bites and kill him instead. No need to waste dodge yet. Oh, oh. There we go. We got the kill. On his switch. I guess he was... No, he couldn't have predicted a dodge because, I mean, I switched. Well, I, mean, I didn't switch. Oh, looks like he got off one more tiny little heal. Which is probably going to do wonders for his fiendish imp. I'm, all, I'm at max damage with deep bite. He can't hit me since I have dodge up. I was expecting him to go into a, some kind of move, but whatever. A dodge right here works out fine. I guess he's trying to decide which one to go into next. He switches me into dang it Bobby. That's not half bad. Alright, fiendish imp. He's going to probably switch me out. Or maybe he's just going to try to kill me. Who knows? Maybe I'll just refresh Immolation and then switch back out. What? Do you not see Dodge? What is your problem? You just killed yourself. If you don't switch out right now, you're dead. Because this is hitting at 420 damage right now. We got this Ronin Toad. We got this. Boom! Awesome. Okay, now let's see if we can kill the Mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, high tier 2 team. You totally just beat uh, an all tier one team. Whew. Thanks to my out prediction, grant your demons and pets an additional 10% haste and 10% crit. Okay, whatever. Looks like my warlock leveled up to 94 as well. Man, that was a great win right there. Totally outplayed him.